In this video I am going to explain about measurement of rainfall. By precisely measuring precipitation, with a rain gauge, you'll know when it's the right time to plant certain types of flowers, vegetables, fruits, or even trees. You will also know when rainfall amounts are beneath optimal levels, so that you can supplement with your own water. Precipitation is expressed in terms of the depth to which rainfall water would stand on an area. If all the rain were collected on it thus one centimeter of rainfall, over a catchment area of one kilometer square, represents a volume of water equal to 10 power 4 meter cube, in the case of snowfall. An equivalent depth of water is used as the depth of precipitation. The precipitation is collected and measured in a rain gauge. Terms such as pluviometer, ombrometer, and hitometer are sometimes used to designate a rain gauge. Pluviometer Ombrometer And hitometer The next topic is measurement of rainfall using Simon's rain gauge. And this is the schematic representation of Simon's rain gauge. It essentially consists of a circular collecting area of 12.7 cm diameter connected to a funnel. The rim of the collector is set in a horizontal plane, at a height of 30.5 cm above the ground level. The funnel discharges the rainfall catch into a receiving vessel. The funnel and receiving vessel are housed in a metallic body. It is the non-recording gauge which extensively used in India. Recently, the India Meteorological Department has changed over to the use of fiberglass reinforced polyester rain gauges, which is an improvement over the Simons gauge. For uniformity, the rainfall is measured every day at 8.30 am and is recorded as the rainfall of that day. That means, exactly at 8.30 am, rainfall will be measured with respective measuring gauge and that measured amount of rainfall will be declared as net amount of rainfall of that day. However, the last reading must be taken at 8.30 a.m., and the sum of the previous readings in the past 24 hours entered as total rainfall of that day. Proper care, maintenance and inspection of rain gauge, especially during dry weather, to keep the instrument free form, dust and dirt is very necessary. That means, for this particular device, we have to handle with care. This rain gauge is also used to measure snow. And the next one is siphon type of rain gauge. This is the schematic representation of siphon's rain gauge. This type of recording rain gauge is also known as flow type gauge. Here, the rainfall collected by a funnel-shaped collector, which is led into a float chamber causing a float to rise. As the float rises, a pen attached to the float through a lever system records the elevation of the float on a rotating drum, driven by a clockwork mechanism. As then float rises, the drum is mounted on the top of the receiver, on the other side. A clockwork arrangement revolves the drum once in 
24 hours. At the bottom the box is connected to a siphon. The siphon comes into action and releases the water as soon as box is filled to a certain level. Figure shows complete arrangement. It is also called natural siphon type recording rain gauge. Thank you. And subscribe for more videos.